Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Blossom Tales with me, Bolton Street Gamer. We're going to continue where we left off. To find old Snapdragon, Lily has to cross the dreaded Gasping Marshes. Sounds sticky and gross. I hope they have big spray in Blossom Kingdom. I'm afraid mud and mosquitoes will be the least of her worries there. However, that said, I'm still exploring this area. And I want to try and find out a, a couple more things before I leave. First and foremost, uh, there was a guy who told me to... Hold on. I hit the wrong button. I keep trying to use this button to shoot, to stab with the sword, but no, that's the bow. And the bow doesn't charge up quickly enough for that. So I'm going to go inside this temple again, because it said I needed to beat all of the trees. And I must have missed a few. I think I missed a few. Then again, this area was split up into a handful of recordings. So, it is entirely possible that I have beaten the ones in here. Yes, on my original run of this, I did beat these four. But I'm pretty sure I skipped by one or two of the trees. So we're going to take a quick look through, just to see. Oh. Not doing so hot here. It's already stuff I've treaded before, but... I'm pretty sure I missed a tree. And I need to get... Ah, oh, Well, that's me. Let's try this again. Again, again. Nope. That did not go any better. How did I do this so good the first time? A little bit of luck. A little bit more patience. A little bit of both. A little bit of finesse, and we're back through. Don't have to do this again, but I'm pretty sure I missed a tree in here. Thank goodness these pots have health. Unfortunately, I'm losing it just by walking into things. But I'm almost back up to full, from the looks of it. I just need to find if I've missed a tree. All this because of a side quest. A side quest I could have picked up before I went into the dungeon, but I didn't know about it before I went into the dungeon. Ah, uh, side quests. I'm pretty sure I walked past the tree. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I went in there and got that too. Don't I also have a quest to kill a bunch of enemies? Yeah, so me going back in here and slaying some spiders is also helping with that. And I also have a quest to get the mushrooms. I still have to go and get those. Side quest, sure, or side quest. Woo. Oh, I definitely took damage there. Did I beat all the trees and I just came back in here for nothing? Darn. Ah, no, there was one. Okay, can I... No. I do have to go down and, like, fight it, actually. 
And I can jump off the railing there, even though it kind of looks like I can. Okay, so that does not make this section fruitless. I did have to go in here and I did have to do that. So let's beat up a tree because I did not beat up a tree previously. That, and I keep on hitting the bow button when I want to use the sword. And that's that. Okay. How many more trees have I... Okay, so I beat up four trees in that first area. I beat up two trees here and two trees there. And I beat up one tree kind of close to the tree that gave me the quest to fight the trees. So that means I have to beat up at least one more tree. Uh... Go back to town. That seems like a good place to go. Yeah, how many more trees? The map should tell me where that guy was. Okay, so that guy was up and to the left. Alright. Right. So if I just go left, I should be able to see more areas and potentially find more trees. All this because a tree asked me to do something. Is there a better reason to do something? Oh, a hole. Oh, add enemies. Kill count. Hello there. Boy, am I glad you're here. I was thinking for rare druid artifacts where my shovel fell down here. Care to help me find it, young knight? Uh, sure. Uh, let me just... One of those. A shovel! Now Lily can dig for buried treasure! She's a knight! With a shovel! I love it! <laughs> wait, I don't get it. I do. I'm sure some of you do as well. Ah. Oh. It's all banged up now. You go ahead and hold on to it. I'll use the extra one I completely forgot I had with me. Wow. Okay, guy. Well, now that I have that... I should better acclimate myself with using the proper button for the thing. So, are these indeed... They are indeed! Hold on, one moment. I'm not sure it was a distraction. But yeah, digging. Ooh, ah. It's a little bit dangerous to dig. It takes a bit more time than it does with certain other characters in certain other games. But now that I have the shovel, it doesn't actually get me any closer to my goal. Whoops. I was getting bombed by myself. I need to try and see if I can find another tree. Oh, there was a dig. It's here. Oh, okay. Yeah, just random stuff. I like it. I need that tree. Ah. Oh, I'm going to be able to get paid for bombing more of those guys. There was another rock to blow up up there, wasn't it? I don't think it was blocking anything, but, you know. Hey, tree, do you know how many more I need? Please, knight. You must free one more tree. Okay. Thanks for keeping count. I'm glad to know that my count was accurate. Uh, where can I go? I guess I can go up and right more.
clear the puzzle on the screen. Seems like every screen has like two or three puzzles. Which seems like a good division for me. Uh, you? You, stop. No, no more of that. Hi, I'm Stan, that's Traveling Salesman. Girl, you, let me tell you how lucky it is that you ran into me today. Believe me when I say, I've got what you need. You don't fool me with that cute face and pretty dress. I see a fire in your eyes. You got a quest, and will do anything to complete it, right? It would be quite a shame if you bit the big one and let everything one down. You know, about the farm. Maybe we can fool for these ferocious fungi out here. That's why I'm offering you a precious hot piece. Of course, it's tough out here for me too, so I can't just give it away. How's a hundred gold coins sound? Believe me, you won't find a better deal. Yeah! Hi again. Thank you for your purchase. Come back later when I have something new to say. Alright. Yeah, that was a great deal for a heart piece. I wonder how many more I can get like that. Probably not many. Ah, uh, these woodmen. But I need that tree. But where could it be? Maybe over here. Ooh, different music. Wait, this is where I started. But there's a hole here. Alright. This certainly looks neat. Lily could not believe her eyes. Up ahead were two Earth Fairies. Hello. Welcome to our sanctuary. We sense a noble and virtuous spirit within you. Please allow us to bless you with a gift. Nice! How about you? Nothing? I can cut down the reeds, but okay. What about your friend? I already gave you a heart piece. What more do you want? Those things are rare, you know. Alright. I wanted to talk to your friend. Oh well. Still, that was worth finding. Right! Someone in the comments asked if I could turn the music up. Sure. That should be fine. The reason it's so low is because on the menu, the starting screen mu was very, very loud. Very, very loud. I could almost not even hear myself over it. So I maybe overcompensate and put it down a touch, a touch too low. So I hope you're happy, and I hope that this is fine. The water's still a bit too deep. Is there anything st hidden in the waterfall? Yes! Start all the way back over. Uh, maybe I should be writing this down. Four, three, three, three. Two, 
okay. Three, three, four, two, one, one. Okay. One, 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 four, one, three, two. Is that it? What? One, three, two, one, 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 one. Oh, I'm glad they gave me an easy one. Holmeshaven is home to a fairy clover, a special plant brought here by, from a distant land by one of the first druids. It is said that when combined with the other rare ingredients, it can remove evil spells and curses. I wonder if it can also do something to attain my mentor's awful mood swings. Ooh, more of these? Plenty more of these. Good puzzle. But still not the last tree I need. Wood guys. Okay. It's gotta be around here somewhere. It must be in the woods, obviously. Right? I don't think there's a corner I haven't really been to. I must have walked right past it before. Or maybe it's off in the corner I haven't looked at. I'm getting a bunch of those. This area is kind of nestled up in the corner. Uh, Golem. Okay, so I'll go back to uh, the Golem Haven. And this time I'll try the bottom right exit and see if it'll take me somewhere different. Maybe I walked by it when I first got here? No. No, that's just how I got in. Not there. So not for lack of trying am I getting this. Hmm. I can't leave the town through that direction. I'm trying to slash as I go past because it cuts down the grass. The grass slows me down pretty significantly, but slicing the sword does not seem to slow me down at all. So I've been slashing preemptively just to get the grass out of the way. For the sake of speed. Oops. Slightly off tile. Ooh, plenty of money. I need that. Where could the last tree be? Maybe down there. much money. They're being really crafty with these dig spots. No, I just passed here because this is where I just was. Where's that tree? I'm really gonna have to do two videos on finding a tree. Uh, 
least I see nice happy trees whenever I do get a tree that I haven't cured. Yeah, I'm really just going in circles. Where is that last tree? worth investigating. Getting to the point where I'm starting... Okay, there's that. Okay. I'm beginning to think it's in the dungeon, but in one of those side passes I didn't go down. Or maybe it's a gnome area. I barely did anything there. That must be over here. It's the only area I haven't been, right? Yep, yeah, there he is. Well, oh, I'm getting wrecked. Turns out things are pretty confusing when you can't know, uh, control the directions that you're trying to go. Oh, contact damage. Oh, bomb damage. Lily had released all the tree spirits from Crocus's evil magic. The tree lord must be very grateful. It's always in the last place you look, because that's where you haven't looked yet. While I'm here, though, I might as well see what's up this way. Oh, it just loops around and connects back to there. Okay, fair enough. Uh... I think the fastest way to do this is just walking. I'm having a good time exploring, though. I'm just... I don't know. I think I used to be very at directions I am now. Let's go see the tree guy before I forget. myself up again. Hey, good amount of money. In spite of spending a bunch. Ooh, two for one. And a miss. Okay, what you got for me, tree? You will have removed Crocus's influence from all the three spirits. We are forever in your debt. One piece of heart. Worth it. This is a ruler of the tree spirits that live in Golem's Haven. Only the tree lord was able to resist our wizard's influence. It's not my wizard. Okay, he was my wizard. He's not my wizard anymore. All right. Next time on Let's Play Blossom Tales with me, Boltish McEver, we're gonna get all these woods because I think they're pretty thoroughly explored now. I guess I'll stop the video when I get to a uh, teleport point, which should just be down there. Yeah, yeah, I'll stop it when I get down there. That way I'm not stopping and starting in weird places. Am I in town yet? I am now. Okay. All right. Where's that stone? And... You know what? Yeah, as long as I'm pushing the timer, I might as well go ahead and do this. I already did my outro. Heck it. Heck it. Let's exchange the feathers. Another 20 feathers. These will make fine arrows that will easily pierce our target. Money! Not a lot. It was like, what, 50? It's enough. I can probably use the shop now, too. Why not? Why not? I'm here. Let's do it.
buy that thing. That's a special item. A small energy crystal. 250. Yeah. That's 50 G of silver. 200 G. No. Later. Alright, now I'll properly end it. Next time on Blossom Tales, we'll go back to the kingdom and then I'll make our way to over towards the other dungeon. Or maybe we'll grind up some mushrooms. I'm not sure yet. Later, knights!